Hello there and welcome. Today I want to talk about beliefs. Beliefs are so important in your life. They shape everything around you. Um, if you believe that money is easy to earn, then it will be. If you believe that money is difficult to earn, then it will also be. Uh, if you believe that you've reached the peak, peak in your career, that will be the case. If you believe that there's still a, a lot of room for promotion and growth, then you will work at getting those promotions because you believe that they are possible. So beliefs, believing something is really important and it shapes uh, a lot your actions. Uh, what I'd like to do today is introduce to you the belief that you can be a millionaire. Anybody can be a, billion, a millionaire. And uh, that idea was introduced to me a few months ago uh, by Bob Proctor. And um, I've met enough millionaires and, and billionaires even now to believe that it is true. Um, I've had positive examples of people who um, earned money just by expanding their mindsets. Um, so that's what you need to do. You need to believe that it is possible first to work at making it happen. So that's, that's why believing is so important because that's what will allow you to work towards a goal. If you don't believe that it is possible at all, you won't put any efforts into it, which, which makes sense. Um, so that belief might sound crazy to you and, uh, and it's normal because um, our beliefs are based on the majority of people's beliefs. Uh, for example, when um, Copernicus 500 years ago said that the sun um, was not uh, revolving around the earth and it was the other way around, everybody thought he was crazy because he was the first one to believe it. And that's not because people thought he was crazy, that he was wrong. Uh, it's just because most people believed that the sun was revolving around the earth. Uh, so now we know that he was right. He, he, even though he was on his own at that time, uh, he was right still. And, and that doesn't mean because you're on your own either that you, your beliefs are right, but it just doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrong either. So you, have, you need to have some level of um, forgetting about what other people think if you want to do this, uh, if you want to become a millionaire. So the way we, we acquire new beliefs is it depends on our existing pool of beliefs. If we hear something that's close enough to our current beliefs, then we are willing to shift a little bit towards that belief. And if we hear it often enough from many people around us, or um, from someone of authority, uh, for example, when you were a kid, everything your parents said you believed because they were the, they had authority over you. Um, so that will shift your beliefs gradually. Uh, now the way of shifting your beliefs is repetition. So if you repeat something over and over, uh, no matter if it's right or wrong, uh, you will start believing it. So when you start believing something, you will start acting towards that goal. So, as I said, the idea that I'd like to introduce to you is that you can be a millionaire. And the way to do that is to uh, reduce it to the ridicule. So if you break it down, break that million down, and divide it many times, uh, you will reach an amount that's a lot easier to handle or to play with. And what I did is I divided it until I reached two dollars. So now my objective is to earn two dollars per month. Now, there are many ways to do that, and I think that's an objective that most people will agree is easily doable. Uh, you could start a blog, uh, you could write a, a song and record it, you could write a book, uh, you could record videos of a course that you'd like to, to give, and uh, what matters is uh, that it's something that you're passionate about. So try not to do it for the money, do it for uh, the pleasure of sharing your passion, because that's what people will enjoy, and that will make them uh, interested in what you have to offer. So as I said, the first objective is to earn $2 a month. So I think that's a pretty easy, reachable objective that most people can, um, can do and they can agree that it's, it's doable, so they will actually do it. And then once you've reached that, then you change your objective to earning uh, $2 a week. And that's only multiplying your current objective, your first objective, by four, so that's still easily doable. I think I think most people can will agree that $2 a week is, is easily doable. 
And when you reach that, then you make it $2 per day. $2 per day, um, you just need to find a few more customers. Um, and when you do the $2 per month first and $2 per week, you will gain knowledge of, of what your public likes and, and what sells, what doesn't. So you'll gain more experience in, uh, in doing that. And then once you've reached your $2 per day, then you multiply by 24 for $2 per hour. And uh, while that's a bigger objective, but as I said, you've built at that point the knowledge and uh, that's, that becomes easier and easier to do. Um, once you've reached the $2 per hour, then your last objective is $2 per minute. When you reach that, when you earn $2 per minute for every hour of the day, you are a millionaire. So the last few steps might seem foreign to you and you won't know exactly how to do this right away. That's fine. You don't need to know that when you start. All you need to focus on is earning $2 per month. So when you've done that, uh, then you will continue, continue on and you will learn how to earn your million. So that comes by doing it. So the really what's, what's important really is to start. Start with your first objective. So what you need is small goals with a big vision. So the big vision will get you to the, to the million and the small goals will keep you active daily to work towards that. And, um, and it's, the problem with that is that the mind doesn't see the connection between $2 per month and a million, but there is one. It's just one step in the process of getting there. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to give me your comments. I like to hear about you, what you think of my ideas, and what is your big project. Uh, please share it with me as well. I love hearing back from you. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'm uh, Martin Peltier at ShineBrighterNow.com. Thank you.